Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss how to create a GET request for a secure GET endpoint. So inside the class that is test GET endpoint, I am going to add one more test method. Public void and let me call it as test secure get endpoint the attribute which we need to use is test method so i'm going to copy this piece of code from the previous method to the current method also this is the endpoint url for secure get endpoint so i'm going to create a private variable for this private string secure get URL so here it will be secure get URL and I'm going to add the assertion for the status code so assert dot r equal 200 as the expected status code and the actual is from rest response dot status code and let me run this script so currently it got failed and you can clearly see there is a assertion failure because of the mismatch in the status code so if you look at the postman when we specify the authorization and in the authorization when we specify the username password automatically the postman convert that into a header and the key is authorization whereas the value is the encoded version of username and password so when we are sending the request to a secure get endpoint we need to add this authorization header along with the request so here i will use http header dot add key is authorization and the value is the encrypted version of username password and again run the script now as you can see here the test is passed and this is because of this header 